now that I have my three pieces of paper with my patterns drawn on in Sharpie, I now have a collection of two sheets of white paper with nothing drawn on them and my three sheets of paper with patterns applied. For this next step, I'm going to need a pair of scissors, I'm going to need a pencil, a ruler, I'm going to need my two white blank sheets of paper, and I'm going to need two of my three pattern pieces of paper. Now one of these pieces of pattern paper is going to be the cover for the base of our sculpture. So you may want to look at your different sheets and determine which one you like the best because it's going to show the most pattern. So I'm going to keep this one for my base. So I'm going to put it off to the side. So that leaves me with these two sheets of patterned paper and these two sheets of plain white paper. What I need to do is measure out and cut these down into two inch by four inch strips. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you. So my first step is when I am in portrait view and my paper measures eight and a half inches across, starting at the bottom with the zero on the left edge, I'm going to make marks at four inch intervals. So one at four inch and one at eight inch. I'm going to move my ruler to the top of my paper. And once again, with the zero of my ruler lined up to the left edge, I'm going to again make marks at four inch and eight inch. And once I have those, then I'm going to line up that top mark to the bottom mark. And from edge of paper to edge of paper, I'm going to draw my lines. And I'm going to do the same thing to this set of marks over here. So this measures our four inch wide strips, and now we need to turn them into two inch wide strips. So now I'm going to turn my paper into landscape view. And once again, lining up the zero on the left edge, I'm going to now mark at the bottom of my paper two inch intervals. So two, four, six, eight and ten. I'm going to slide the ruler to the top. And I'm going to once again make those same measurements. Zero lined up to the left edge every two inches. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. And just like any other time, I'm going to line up those marks top to bottom and draw lines from the edge of the paper to the edge of the paper. So these are my little two by four inch sections. My next step is I need to cut these out. So I'm going to first cut off my two extra areas that don't measure two inches by four inches. And then once I have those severed, I'm going to cut out these individual pieces. And I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back once that is complete. Okay, so now I have these cut, 
Each one of these measures 2 inches by 4 inches. You're going to have 20 that have patterns and you're going to have 20 that are all white. You don't have to separate them, but we're going to now be taking these and turning these into our little forms for our sculptures. And that's going to be in the next video. So what you need to do is get your papers cut into your little two by four inch rectangles and submit a photo of your collection of strips and be ready for the next part.